Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode of Fashion Forward. Uh, so for those of you who don't follow my Little Miss Discord channel, I know I said that I would be doing a vlog on Thursday uh, last week, and I didn't do it, and that was because I had some technical issues. Those are thankfully resolved. Uh, so this is the Tuesday video, and then I'll do the Thursday video on Thursday, and continues, <laughs> and goes so on and so forth. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays will be the Fashion Forward channel's video updates. Uh, so today's video is the first of a segment that I am calling uh, Guide to the Perfect Wardrobe, and this is the first episode, and I'm basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go step by step through your outfit. So I'm going to go through underwear, bras, uh, your leggings, your pants, your skirts, your dresses, your shirts, your blazers, your jackets, your cardigans, uh, accessorizing uh, scarves, makeup, everything. I'm going to cover it all. It's going to take a while. We can do it one episode at a time. So, we're going to start with the foundation of uh, the outfit, and that is what you put underneath it, um, your underwear. And so I have laid before me, you can't see it, it's out of the screenshot, a selection of underwear. I'm going to go through and cover it. Now, I have, like, this entire drawer full of underwear, so I don't expect everyone to go out and buy as much underwear as I have. I'm not going to show you all of it, because that would take, like, all day, um, but... I'm one of those people that I really believe like having a variety is key to everything because I really love having a variety. Um, but not everybody does, so I'm going to go through and cover the basics of what I think everyone needs to have, um, and then you can decide for yourself how much or how little you yourself need to have. So I'm going to start with a very bare bones basic. Every girl needs a pair of white panties and a pair of like nude panties. Um, and the importance of these are that if you're wearing something that is sort of sheer or see-through, it's not going to show through like a vibrant color would. So it's really important to have, and I like having ones that are as small as possible. I like to avoid panty lines. So just get the little stringy ones. But if you're more comfortable with a little bit more coverage, then they definitely do make ones with more coverage as well. So... That is uh, the first one, so your whites and your nudes, gotta have those. Um, the next thing that's really key for any awesome wardrobe is to have some comfy pairs like this. I love the ones with the lace on the top. I find they're super, super comfy, and I don't usually wear these under clothes. I wear these if I'm having a lazy day around, and I'll wear like an oversized t-shirt, and then just a pair of these. They're super, super comfy, very low-key, but they're also pretty cute, and uh, they're also super comfy, and again, the lace really helps. Now. Um, getting into kind of the fabric, because I did just mention the lace, I'm a huge fan of cotton. As I said in my Little Miss Discord videos, I get waxed down there. It's very sensitive, and if you wax or shave, that area is a very sensitive area, and I find that having, like, any rough material can really irritate it. It's not really a pleasant feeling. So I like to find the underwear that doesn't feel like it has a seam, like this. It's cotton, but it's, like, a really, like, it doesn't feel like there's a seam to it, so it's not rough in my skin at all. Um, and so that's kind of my preference. I do have a couple of lace ones and a couple of ones that are a different material, but for everyday wear, I tend to go for the cotton that is, like, just a good, soft cotton. So the next thing that is really important is to have your everyday casual underwear. Now, casual underwear does not mean boring colors, although I do have some in, like, grays and, you know, just bland colors, but I like to have a variety of colors. Um, so, and I get, there's kind of two main varieties for everyday wear. There's the ones that, again, have the really little, little straps on it. Um, and these are, it's harder to match colors like these with bras unless you buy the actual matching bra. But I just love the color of it. And I love, there's like little jewels and little bows and it's really pretty. Um, and then this one has some sparkle and a little bit of lace. Now, the key, if you want to make sure that you're not going to look completely weird if you end up taking off your top and your bottom and it's revealing, is that you find pieces that are going to match with a variety. So, for example, this one is going to match with the blue bra that I have, but it's also going to match with the black bra that I have. That's totally not what I was going to grab. Uh, so blue or black bra can match with this pair of panties. So if you want to make sure that you avoid the awkwardness of uh, mismatching tops and bottoms, just get something that's going to work with a variety. So again, we've got the... Uh, a little itsy bitsy kind of scanty panty um, with the, the thin string. However, some girls don't like that. Some girls like a little bit of a thicker thong to work with. I like both. I don't really have a preference. So 
So if you want a little bit of a thicker one, and again, you can get really pretty colors. Don't limit yourself just because you think like, oh, it's every day what I'm going to be wearing. Because you want to look pretty and feel good every single day. So again, got the little bit of a lace, a little bit of a bow. This one, for example, I have two different bras that can go with it. I have black with pink and pink with black. See? And they both go with these panties because there's a little black detail on there. So always a good idea to do that. And I have like a white bra and a coat or a nude color bra, but we're not talking about bras. So bras will make a brief cameo here, but I'll do the next video will be all about bras. Um, so the next one is for that time of the month, if you're anything like me, I don't want to have any itty bitsy little underwear on that time of the month. So I like to have underwear with a bit more coverage. Um, and again, even some days if I'm just going to be wearing it around the house with like a t-shirt. Um, so you've got the ones with the full, full back, but these don't have to be ugly and plain either. Like this one has the little jewels on it. It's got a little bit of a cutout. Um, and the same one with this one and the color going for more of an interesting color. And I've got this one as well. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I've been doing this most of my life and ladies at the local lingerie stores that know me have recently started doing this as well. Uh, or advising their, their clients to do this is that I wear a size small in underwear. That is my normal size. But when I'm on my period, I feel super bloated. I feel totally gross. I don't want anything pre like pressing on me. So I get a size medium and it's a little bit bigger, but it's super comfy for when you're feeling a little bit bloated. And so I would definitely recommend having like your normal size and then the size up for bloating or, you know, if you're feeling sick or anything like that, it's just a good thing to have on hand. So that leads me to the next step, which is again, kind of in the realm of casual. And this is something I think every woman needs as a pick-me-up, as a hot thing to wear on a girl's night out or a date night or something, and that is the leopard print underwear. And leopard print underwear, it comes in a variety of styles. So, for example, there's this kind of leopard print with, I don't even know if this counts as leopard, whatever. I'm counting it as, it as animal print, fine. Animal print underwear. And it's got some lace, and it's got the bow, and it's got the thicker back. Um, so there's that kind. Then there is this kind with, again, the really teeny little straps and it's got the little printed, and it's really soft. I love the material, it's super soft. All of this underwear that I'm showing you is from La Senza. We don't have, um, what's it called? We don't have Victoria's Secret here. I wish we did, we don't. Um, so I go to La Senza, it's the next best thing, and I love the girls there and all the different stuff. And then this type of leopard print, which is just like fierce, it's feisty, it's got the lace, which again is super comfy, and it's got like a kind of in-between side and back. So yeah, super cute. So every girl needs at least one pair of leopard print. I go crazy. I love any sort of animal prints. The next thing that every lady needs is a pair of black lace panties. And I have a few pairs. I have this pair. This is like my littlest, laciest pair. And it's like full on. You can't wear this under skin tight stuff. You really can't. Uh, but it's, I love it. It's super cute. But not only does every girl need a black lace, they also need a red lace. So make sure that you do yourself a favor. I know these ones are a little bit big. These are, <laughs> these are not the most sexy in terms of overall coverage. Um, they, they cover quite a bit. But, you know, it's nice to have a variety in your underwear drawer. Um, now we're just about done. There are two kind of groupings left, and then I will leave you with this. Um, so the next thing that every woman needs, and this is super, super important, is to actually have a matched set at least one. I have a couple, I don't know how many I have to be honest, of the bra with the matching underwear. Okay, every woman needs at least one set of this. And this is not for every day, it's not for first date, this is for like the first night with the guy. You are going to want to look super fine and the best way to do that is to have like the panties, the bra, and a pair of black lace high high stockings and you will have a good night. Um, and finally, the last kind of underwear that you need to have in your treasure, treasure chest of underwear is the nightclub underwear. Now this varies because unlike all of this other underwear, um, the nightclub underwear has to have two key factors, at least for me. Because when I go out pubbing, I usually wear something that is short, like I'm wearing like a short skirt or a short dress. I don't want to have it in see if it's a little thong that is easy enough to, like, you know, see more than I'm wanting people to see. So that needs to be dealt with. 
Second of all, but I did three fingers, I don't know why. Second of all, um, I want something that's going to look cute. Because just because I want it to cover more doesn't mean that I want it to be totally boring and lame. So, I look for pieces like this. No one could claim this is boring. It's super cute. It does have the full coverage in the back because there's a little skirt, although there it is kind of like a thong as well. So there's like that one or this one. And again, the print. I love the print and the bows and the little jewels. But it's great for, it. like, you know, if you're wearing a short dress or a short skirt and you're like dipping low while you're dancing, it's really good because no one is going to see more than, you know, they more than they should. You will not have like one of those celebrity malfunction, wardrobe malfunction moments. So those are the, the essentials. Now again, it's up to you how many you have. If you don't go out clubbing much, you may only want one pair of club-worthy underwear. If you, you know, I don't know, some people might want to have one pair for every day of the week, plus like a spare or something. It's totally up to you. But these are the essentials. Um, so these are <laughs> the, the main pieces of my underwear. And you'll notice, color. Color is your friend. You don't need to stick to the boring whites and blacks and nudes. Get some vibrant, crazy stuff and just have fun with it. And you have to feel comfortable, whatever makes you feel the best. But definitely look for stuff that is just, you know, that you feel like a rock star in. Because that's really the important thing about fashion, is whether people are seeing it or you just know that you're wearing it, you gotta feel good in it. Okay, so that is it for me. Uh, you can leave a comment down below about what your favorite kind of underwear is. You can also like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next uh, video, which will be on Thursday. It will not be the follow-up to this. Um, I'll do one a week, probably, or one every two weeks of my like Guide to the Perfect Wardrobe. But the next one of the Guide to the Perfect Wardrobes will be on bras. So if you want to uh, stick around for that, I will see you in that video or the video on Thursday, which will be coming first. And until I see you next time, keep your best fashion forward, and I'll see you guys later.